Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about a crazy fight, a fight for the golden era of MMA, Fedor, the last emperor, Emelianenko versus Quentin Rampage Jackson. This fight is going down Bellator December 29th at the Saitama Arena. Let's get into the fight. Fedor Emelianenko is six feet tall. He has a 76 inch reach. He is a world champ in Sambo, a grandmaster in Sambo. He is also a black belt and international master of Judo. Fedor's record is 38 wins, 6 losses, 1 no contest. Fedor is a legendary mixed martial artist. He is regarded by many as possibly the greatest of all time. That's based on a roughly 10 year, 27 fight reign. Hell of a streak, I believe it was 27. At heavyweight, that's kind of unheard of. Because if you get clipped with one shot, that's the fight. Look how many times the UFC heavyweight belt has been passed around since before Stipe. Fader is known for his steely, almost robotic composure in a ring or cage. Super focused individual, highly skilled. I would say ahead of his time, very well rounded. He can knock you out. He can submit you. He can finish you with a ground and pound. He can toss you and dump you on your head. In his prime, he had a hell of a chin and great recovery. Fader was a monster and is still a threat present day. Quentin Rampage Jackson is six foot one with a 73 inch reach. He has a background in wrestling. He's trained in boxing, kickboxing. He sports a mixed martial arts record of 38 wins, 13 losses. Rampage is a beast. He's also a legendary fighter, has been around forever since the pride days. He's the former UFC light heavyweight champ. He's known for his heavy hands, crazy slams, granite chin, toughness, and he used to have some pretty good defensive wrestling. Rampage is a fan favorite, definitely a mixed martial arts hall of famer. And even though he slowed down a little bit, he's still a pretty damn big threat in the cage. So how would Fedor Emelianenko and Quentin Rampage Jackson match up in 2019? Well, I'm going to say that this fight would have been 20 times more awesome if it happened like eight years ago, maybe 10 years ago. My math may be off, but you get the point if these guys fall in their prime. Rampage is a big boy right now. I believe he weighs more than Fedor. He's probably walking around 250. Fedor has always floated around 235. Not the biggest heavyweight, but part of that is what made him great. He would slay giants. In Quentin's last fight, he knocked out Vandalay Silva. And in Fedor's last fight, he was knocked out by Ryan Bader. This fight's a tough one to pick because you kind of don't know what version of these guys are gonna show up. Are we gonna get somewhat close to prime Fedor? Something in the gas tank? somewhat close to prime Quentin Jackson, because if we are, that changes quite a few things. I think prime Fedor handedly beats Quentin Rampage Jackson. Too well-rounded, too high of a fight IQ, too skilled. Present day, both of these guys slowed down. It's really a tough fight to call. I can see Quentin landing a bomb, putting Fedor's lights out, and I can see Fedor landing a bomb, getting the TKO on Rampage. I don't think he would knock Quentin out. Rampage really doesn't use his wrestling anymore. If he did, however, it would make this fight interesting because I can see him securing a takedown, but then Fedor is pretty dangerous off his back with sweeps and submissions, specifically arm bars. He throws him up and locks him on in an instant. He's kind of tricky to take down also. He has good foot trips, hip tosses with that judo background. The deciding factor in this fight for me is how well Fedor's chin is holding up these days. Like I said, in his last fight, he got knocked out by Bader. Kind of no shame in that. Bader hits really hard. He's a big boy, but he still got knocked out nonetheless. In a few fights before that, he got knocked out by Matt Mitrione. If you look at their last 10 fights, I would say that Fader has been more impressive, more stoppages, more definitive wins. Rampage doesn't seem like his heart is in it. Fader still seems like he wants to capture gold or achieve some of that old greatness. But maybe the respect Rampage has for Fedor will make him rise to the occasion. He claimed in a recent interview that Fedor is his favorite fighter of all time. I think he knows what he's up against. Even an out of prime Fedor is no joke. If these guys were in their prime, I think Fedor would be a threat on the feet based on his quickness, the angles he would punch at, and the way he would mix it up. Fedor was really good at lunging in with punches, then transitioning into a takedown or a throw. I think the main edge he would have is on the ground. I would think after some striking exchanges, he would get Quentin to the mat and secure a submission. I have a funny feeling that Rampage in 2019 is in a KO present Fedor. Like I said, this fight really depends on Fedor's ability to take a punch. It's a tough pick. Fedor is one of my favorite fighters of all time. But ultimately in 2019, right now, I think Quentin Rampage Jackson is going to take this fight. At some point in this fight, he's going to clip Fedor and put him out. 
this was a really tough pick for me. But I want to know what you guys think. Drop those opinions in the comments section. Who you think is going to take this fight? It's fun having these debates and reading the comments. This is a great fight for the golden era of MMA. Too bad it didn't take place years ago, but we're having it right now. Thanks for watching the segment, guys. If you liked the video, consider subscribing. Appreciate it, guys, and I'll catch you all on the next breakdown.